This is a brand new skate park that just opened up in Leichhardt. We are 15 minutes west from Sydney CBD, and this might be hard to believe, but this skate park costs $2.2 million. So the local council here actually have gone through a 12 year battle to get the plans for this park approved and to get the build approved. The popular wedding venue next door, just on the other side of the car park here, was trying to get court orders to get this place shut down because they didn't want people hanging around right next to like a really prestigious wedding venue. So they thought it would ruin their business. They didn't want people hanging around at night, skating here, making more noise. But the council members really pushed to have this place approved and 12 years later we have a skate park here. So that's a massive win for the community here in Leichhardt. The council pushed through, we got a brand new skate park built here but for this place to cost 2.2 million dollars and look how it looks right now you know there's a problem and I'm going to tell you what that problem is and why this skate park came out so bad but first I want to hit a few things, get an idea of how the park flows and then I'll get into why the plans of this skate park suck so much. So this half of the skate park is still in the shade and it's still wet and drying so me and Jeff are going to skate this half of the skate park. So let's just see if we can warm up, skate this section first, and then we'll skate that side once it's dry. So the council went through 12 full years of battling just to get this place approved and built. And after all that hard work, they made a massive mistake. And that was hiring Enlocus to design and build this skate park. Now, Enlocus is an architectural design company who have built a few skate parks in the past, but they have no business building skate parks. They have no idea what they're doing. And I don't know how it costs $2.2 million to build this place. Pretty harsh to say, but to be honest, I probably won't come back here ever again. There's some fun to be had here, but there's nothing here that I would want to come back for. The most fun I've had so far is board slide that wall that I just did then and that's not even part of the skate park that's just the barrier to the skate park so it is a big win getting this park built but it's also a big loss with how much it cost and the design of this place I don't see it being very popular here unless you're a local and you can just ride like five or ten minutes to get here the best thing about this place is the location so far having the water in the background it's a nice location but this skate park just isn't it so the sun's still behind the trees right now I don't know if it's gonna dry much more so we're just gonna have to try and skate this half of the skate park there's a long six stair here with hubbers down each side the hubbers look fine but the handrail dimension is a completely off. It's way too low to get onto and it ends way too low into the ground as well. Not to mention this ridiculous rainbow rail that I honestly am too scared to hit. I'm pretty comfortable skating rails and this rail is square so it should be easy to hop on and board slide but it's just so sketchy to me. I'm not going to touch it at all. So hopefully I can wrap up this session on this side of the skate park, maybe ollie the stairs and try and grind the hubbers but I don't think I'm going to be doing much more here. So let's see what we can get into on this half of the skate park and then I'll get into all the facilities here. Out of the bank. It's still gnarly though. So sketchy. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, this thing is no joke. Yes. We're done. 
So this place has a lot of rubbish bins, water bubblers, and there's lots of parking here along the water. And down the end of that road is where the toilet block is. The park has two big shaded areas, but there is two big trees right behind as well, which give you a lot of shade from the sun, which can sometimes be a negative because this half of the skate park has been in the shade all day and there's still a bit of wet patches on the ground. The park does have lights, but since it's right next to that wedding venue and there is a residential area up the hill there, I would say they'll turn off pretty early at night. So there's a lot of facilities here, but to be honest, I don't know if it's worth coming here. Unless you guys live in this area close to Sydney, I wouldn't recommend trekking out to skate this park. It's a win that the council finally won that battle and got a skate park here, but like I said, it's a big loss because they spent so much money and the skate park's just whack. They always go to architectural design companies and skate parks end up looking like this. Check out the last skate park review video I did here at Kernel Skate Park. That costs like a quarter of the price of this and I would much rather go there. It's so much smaller as well. And let me know what you guys think about the plans of this skate park and how it turned out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.